Hey, 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 everybody, it's John here. Welcome to today's VIP Circle Life call. I want to start and share something about a really interesting project. When you launch a campaign, until you hit a substantial level of engagement, how long does it take? How many days should we keep a campaign running? Or if we turn it off too fast, what are we leaving on the table? So what I want to share with you today is the result of literally looking at, I think, over a million data points on this topic. But I'm also going to explain what it means and what takeaways you may take from this call and then implement in your campaign. So I'm going to share my screen here right now, and we're going to take a look at what's called a scatter plot. A scatter plot is basically this kind of graph that takes a number of data points and just maps them out along an X and a Y axis. So I want to explain real quick what these means. Ignore the blue curve. What's really important are the red dots, because the red dots are all music ad campaigns. And basically on the x-axis you have time. So this graph looks across about 400 days. And then on the y-axis you have the engagement rate, the engagement percentage. And this is something that you may have seen in your Hyped accounts. We calculate this by taking the clicks on a smart link, dividing it by the visits, and that gives us the engagement percentage. And because Hype did see so many campaigns, we then said, okay, look, if we average all the campaigns on day zero, on the day they're being launched, what's the average engagement rate? And if we average all the campaigns on day one of their age, what's the average engagement rate? And then the same for day two, for day three, for day four. So essentially what you're seeing here are 400 red dots. Every one of these dots representing one day in the life of a campaign. And the average engagement rate that all the campaigns that we're running at that point in time hat. And so there are a couple interesting things here that I want to point out. First of all, you see that at the beginning of this graph, all the red dots are very close together. And then as time goes on, there's a lot more diffusion there. So they spread out more widely. The reason is that simply there are more campaigns in the early days of a campaign and there are fewer campaigns represented in the data points here further to the right. So because we're looking at 400 days, not every artist on Hyped It lets every one of their campaigns run for over a year. But a lot of campaigns run for like 10 or 20 days. So that's why some of these campaigns that only run for 10, 20 days, they are represented in the data points over to the left side, but over to the right side, there are fewer data points that are available. And this is why we got a lot more diffuse results over here. If you look at this blue line here and you zoom a little bit in, this is what it looks like for the first 100 days. You can see what we all intuitively know, right? That a campaign in the beginning doesn't perform to its full potential. It can't because it hasn't seen any data yet. It hasn't had a chance to understand who are the ideal fans that are engaging with the song that you're featuring in your ad. You often hear me say the worst day of your campaign is going to be the first day. And the best day of your campaign is likely going to be the last day. And that's because these campaigns are learning. And what this graph does better than anything I've been able to share with you before and before doing this data analysis is the real benefit of time. And so you can see that there is a ton of improvement happening in the early days of a campaign. So if the first 10 days here, you're probably there at what 60, 70% of the engagement potential of the campaign, but it really doesn't end there. The engagement rises, 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 and I would say reaches a level of stabilization here somewhere between like 60 and 90 days. That means the longevity of these campaigns, even though you can expect early and quick improvement, longevity really pays off because what we want to end up with with these campaigns is ideally in this optimal performance part here where the engagement is stabilized it's at its peak level and you can just let that campaign run. And this is such an important data point as well to compare campaigns to each other. So again, on prior of calls, I said, I will always let my campaigns run for 30 days or four weeks before I make a decision on whether to turn it off or leave it on. And the reason why is that if you look at the 30 day mark here, that will also we've reached a substantial point in performance 
for the engagement rate where maybe we're not at peak yet. This this graph shows more clearly for me as well to understand that there is further improvement happening statistically after day 30. Most of our campaigns are still improving after day 30. But if you were to compare campaigns here in the early days where literally every day could make substantial difference in the engagement rate, you might turn campaigns off that had a lot more potential and keep campaigns running that might not ever be the best performers. So my key takeaway from this is when I launch a new campaign, I expect substantial improvements happening in the early days of the campaign. But in order to make a true assessment on the full potential of a campaign, I'll let it run at least 30 days. So that's consistent with the guidance that I that previously had. But now I don't necessarily expect 30 days to represent peak performance, but it looks like 60 to 90 days. That's really where we're looking at peak performance here because there's still some rise. However, we might be at like an 80% performance level after 30 days. So if you want to sort of consider, okay, what's the full potential of that campaign at 30 days, we might not say, all right, we're at the peak yet, but we're probably around 80 or 85% there. And I will calculate some more of these percentage ranges. I'll follow up with more content that specifies this a little bit further. This is kind of hot off the press here, but I thought this was so exciting and such a great illustration of the value and benefit of time for these campaigns that I didn't want to hold this back but share this with you because i know you guys are out there you're promoting you have live campaigns you're launching new campaigns and so you can apply this directly to the campaigns that you're running Want to get your music heard on Spotify with AI? I just launched a brand new video training program called the Spotify Growth Switch, where I show you how to start growing real listeners, real fans, and real streams on Spotify in less than 10 minutes using software and AI. I've used the Spotify Growth Switch system to now grow my music to over 7 million streams and tens of thousands of monthly listeners on Spotify. This works for any music genre. It gets you real fans and listeners super fast, and it's extremely easy to set up literally just like flipping a spotlight switch for your music. Despite using AI, you don't need to know nothing about tech stuff in order to be successful with this. I've had the tremendous privilege of helping multiple tens of thousands of music artists grow their music on Spotify, many of which have grown to much larger numbers, lots more listeners, lots more streams than I have using the systems that I've taught. Makes me so proud of their success. And so if you want to get more real listeners, real fans and real streams for your music fast using state of the art software and AI, then click the link below this video and check out the Spotify growth switch. I can't wait to help you grow your music on Spotify and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.